Welcome back to Top 5 Repairs. How do you know you have a bad throttle actuator control motor? The throttle actuator control motor is built together with the throttle body and its main function is to open and close the throttle plate. When you have a bad throttle actuator control motor, your vehicle will idle high, idle low, you'll notice idle fluctuation, your vehicle will stall at low speed, your vehicle can be stuck in limp mode, and you'll get code P2100 to code P2105. For this vehicle, it's triggering P2103. Some of the reasons why these throttle actuator control motor fail is, number one, is going to be carbon buildup. If there's too much carbon buildup inside your throttle body, it's going to make it much more difficult for the throttle plate to open, and it's going to cause binding, and it's going to trigger those codes. The second reason why this throttle actuator control motor fell is because maybe you accidentally ruined it. This type of system is a drive-by system, and basically the throttle actuator control motor is controlled by the PCM. So when you step on the gas pedal, it should open up the throttle plate. You should never ever manually try to open it with your fingers or using a tool because that can actually ruin the throttle actuator control motor. When you're getting P2100 to P2105 or also P211, that's because the PCM or the ECM detected that the throttle plate is at the incorrect angle and that is why you're getting these codes. So the most likely solution to fix the problem is to number one, clean out the throttle body or number two, replace the parts. When you have a build up of dirt, grime and carbon, it will cause the throttle plate to start sticking and it's going to be difficult to open and close. So you can use carburetor cleaner, you can use throttle body cleaner to clean the inside of the bore on, and on this part over here and this part over here and that might actually fix the issue. But if it doesn't fix the issue, just go ahead and replace the part. I went ahead and bought a brand new throttle body because it was only $50. It wasn't expensive. So what I'm doing now is comparing the old throttle body with the new throttle body to make sure the connectors and the bolt pattern are the same. Replacing the throttle body is very simple. It was held on by four 10 millimeter long bolt, two coolant hoses, and one connector. So anybody can replace the throttle body. Make sure to inspect the throttle body gasket because you may need to replace it. When screwing in the new bolt, make sure to always start by hand because you do not want to strip the threads. Once you got started by hand, you can go ahead and use your power tool or you can use your ratchet and socket and go ahead and bolt it on. I hope you found this video useful. As always, thank you for watching and subscribe to Top 5 Repairs.